I have not been following closely, but I've seen things regarding the unfolding saga of Creflo Dollar, apparently um, renouncing some of his previous teachings about tithing. It is interesting that Jesus came to set the captives free. And one of the things he came to set the captives free from is actually religion. And the thing is, even in the observance of the law, some of the Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes, they went too far. And we can say they went too far either to the left or to the right. But in many things they thought they were right. But Jesus taught them another way. Of course, his way was the right way. Now, God gave the law to Moses, so it's not like Moses came for those things by himself. But then Jesus came and he was saying things like, It has been said, but I say. It is written, but I say. So it represented a change. And some people, they were stuck to the past. They were so married to it that they couldn't see the fulfillment of many scriptures standing before them. Scriptures they had studied for some of them their whole lives. But maybe about two years ago, Ben Hinn renounced what is called the prosperity gospel. And then some of the people who were with him came out against him. And the next thing you know, Benny went back to his same old ways. And a similar thing is going on with tithing. Some people are lauding Creflo Dollar, and others are basically saying he's wrong. Now, one of the things with ministry, it has to be about the message. The message and the messenger, Christ Jesus. Because if ministry becomes a business, then there are times when people do things to protect the business as opposed to the Lord Jesus Christ, to make things about Him. Because even when it comes to tithing, a lot of times there's been division between, for example, pastors with church, a physical church building, and those who um, are not necessarily tied to a building. Because when it comes to a building, a building has overhead, and people have to raise funds some way. And for some people, that's what they've used tithes and offerings for to raise fund to funds to erect a building, to purchase or rent a building for maintenance costs. So one of the things to ensure that money keeps on coming in is by preaching about tithing. And I know a while back, I, for example, I've spoken about tithing and also spoken about the website, tithingtruth.com, which is a great resource. Jesus spoke about the truth and that the truth sets us free. But sadly, sometimes people, they hear the truth, but they refuse to receive the truth. Jesus came, but many rejected him. So the truth does, does set us free. But it's amazing how some people, they will prefer to stay in captivity. In a sense, the doors of the prison will swing open because of the mighty hand of God. And some people, they'll refuse to get out. Others will even reach for the prison door and close it to lock themselves in. I've spoken about before that deliverance in a sense takes place in four phases, whether over a period of time or simultaneously. And I use the Lord delivering his children out of Egypt as a model. First, he delivered them from Egypt. Then he delivered them from the Egyptians at the Red Sea. Then he delivered them from the Egyptian mindset in the wilderness and finally into the promised land. And one of the things that happens as we see in Numbers 11, the people who had cried out to the Lord because of their afflictions, and then the Lord who heard their afflictions sent Moses to set them free. After beating up the Egyptians and their gods with the ten plagues, he delivered them out. There was a Red Sea. The Lord again showed up mightily, parting the Red Sea and using the same avenue of escape to drown the Egyptians. But then came Numbers 11. The people were in the wilderness, and they started lusting after the things of captivity. They wanted to go back into captivity, which angered the Lord. Those are some of the things that contributed to the Lord, let him stay in the wilderness for 40 years. To lose that Egyptian mindset, to lose 
the captivity mindset, to deliver them from the Egyptian mindset and start preparing them for freedom. But again, there were people who wanted to go back into bondage. And that's one of the things I see in this, where Creflo, a pretty popular minister, has spoken about tithing in a way that is not common for him, but others even coming against him. <laughs> because in a lot of ways they don't want to move forward. And a part of this imprisonment is that many preachers have preached people into prison. Rather than fulfilling what the Lord spoke about in Luke 4, which is linked to Isaiah 61, that he came to set the captives free. Many preachers have preached people into a prison, even to the point when the truth comes to them. They refuse to accept it, and they stick to the old way, stick to what they've been taught, as opposed to what Scripture truly says. I, for one, when the Lord sets me free from anything, I'm not going back into captivity. I pray this message blesses you. And please, be a Berean. Search the scriptures for yourself. Let the Holy Spirit guide you into all truth. People may teach you error, but the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Let Him open the scriptures to you. Let Him show you maybe which minister or ministers have the right teachings about certain things. In some cases, some people are experts in one field and not so much in another. So let the Lord show you the truth. And when he shows you, shows you the truth, be willing to accept it. And don't be angry with someone or others in the past who may have taught you the wrong thing. Maybe they did it out of ignorance, maybe out of arrogance. Either way, forgive, let them go. Because in some cases, they already had to go before the Lord Jesus Christ to give an account of themselves. So I pray this message blesses you. And to question all things. Be a Berean. Search the scriptures, not necessarily based on what you've been taught by human beings. The precepts of men as the word of God. But let the Holy Spirit guide into all truth. To include maybe which human vessels who can teach you what he has taught them that is correct about certain subject matters. God bless you, and Jesus Christ is Lord.